Oh, it was an impulse trade, as in I had no use for it. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> A pretty beat up Toro commercial lawnmower that's probably only good for parts. Uh, but we'll see. Needs a little bit of welding, a little bit of fixing if it's any good, but we'll see. The blade, I'm thinking I could chop that up and use it maybe for uh, something else. We could make two three foot blades for each of our tractors. Yeah, that is an option. We'll have to see. Okay, so this guy here, I think these things have Suzuki motors on them. I can't remember. Uh, it runs, started up after a few pulls. Uh, it drives. So originally the guy was saying that he thought it was uh, the self-propelled belt that's broken, but no, clearly that moves. But there could be something under this cover because the blade's not engaging. I see there is a separate linkage for the engagement. That doesn't even move whatsoever. So something under here is broken, as far as I could see. And the blade is not spinning. But transmission works. The belt is broken almost on the drive system. But the lever is moving now. It was just uh, stuck in the halfway position here. And now it's kind of free moving, but I'm gonna have to pull apart the bottom and find out, did he break a shear pin or why is the blade not spinning? Now there is damage on the deck on this side where something good hit it. So I'm going to guess the shear pin's broken. That is the weirdest clutch system ever. So they turn on and off the belt by putting, so if it just slipped off, that's an easy fix. I guess, yeah, it just gets uh, pulled tight, which wedges it in here, and that's what connects the dry belt. Oh, that's a weird-ass system on this antique. <laughs> well, I guess we'll try. Seems to be good now. Just literally the belt was off from, I guess I'm hitting something. All the gears work, everything is working good on it. I wish I had reverse in a way. The blade needs to be sharpened, it's horrible shape, but self-propel works good. Maybe I'll try uh, cutting down some of this old shit with it. Nope, <laughs> burn out. I know one thing, third gear is fast. Well, anyway, it does work good. I'll have to sharpen up the blade. Oops. Yeah, definitely needs a new blade. The one that's on it sucks. But, you know, commercial series, uh, I think this thing has a Suzuki motor. And I can't believe it was such an easy fix. I like how it doesn't shoot up much dust. The type of blade that's on it, I guess. Well, I guess I can go park this for now. Big stick, big stick, bigger stick. I don't ever even eat that stick. I just turned off the blade, so I like I like how you can shut off the blade separate on this thing. That is cool. Well, that's going to be the end of this guy. He seems to be running great. Okay, so why I picked this up, it was completely an impulse buy. Maybe it's just to, maybe I'll buy a tractor one day. It looks pretty uh, hillbillied up. A couple pins are shattered out of it, as you guys can see there. But I'm thinking of the steel blade and the turning mechanism, which I still got to see if that's going to turn or if it's welded. On the bottom, it looks like that just might be mud. But as you guys can see, I've been 
bastardized up over the years, but one of the pins is broken out of it. But this is just a solid rod here. Looks like the original one was there. Someone welded this on. Uh, so it can be fixed. Uh, again, I might just take this blade, cut it down, and make a greater blade or something for the uh, Boland's tractor. It is way overkill, way too heavy. Uh, so I'd have to have a hell of a weight bin. But we can make two, three foot blades for both the tractors. That's kind of what we're thinking of. Uh, but the, those would be a fair size too. But I'd like a four foot because then dually tires. I think I'll measure the size of a dually and we'll go from there. Now I could probably get away with splitting that right down the center with the torch. I'll make two. Yeah. Those end pieces are just added on, so we'll have to see. Well, she is working great. Yes, I'm making a trail right in the back here. No weed whacker first. So good for it, eh? But the blade is shot anyway. <laughs> Cut it pretty good. cutting pretty good that's for sure no complaints already ran a few tanks of fuel through it and it's running awesome tree versus lawnmower <laughs> yeah. I call that a success look at that eh Look at that, it's like gone. <laughs> yeah, I could be transplanting them, but I don't need so many of them. Leave your what out of it? Fortnite, Fortnite dances, why you don't want to do another one? Are you getting bugged at school because someone recognized you? Is that what it is? <laughs> well, this thing here, uh, <laughs> what's to say? I just gave it a hell of a shit kick, as you guys could tell. Had the uh, oil fill pop off once, but that's because the threads are, I guess, gone. <sighs> Not much left of the bottom protector there. So, still had the one crack on the side that's old, but I noticed air filters needs to be uh, replaced, cleaned pretty plugged up. I took off the bag halfway through, but just go give you guys an idea here how everything's going. My shoes are literally full of crap and I probably got a dozen wood ticks on me. But long story making a trail to get the truck around the property. And uh, for whatever else reason, you can see the garden area there. It's quite messy. But this trail goes all the way around. Uh, I still could have went another 50 feet past my property or 50 feet and not been past the property, but you see the garden's going pretty good. <laughs> but there's a few things that will have to be still changed. I removed and trimmed down some big ass trees and stumps. Use that as a stump grinder. Would you believe it actually worked good? So this tree might end up getting moved. Already moved about 20 of them. So I was going to go up to where that pole is laying down and across, but I decided we'll save that. Keep the trail in the middle. Maybe make a couple spots for the kids to go camping. Uh, right behind the garden here, or maybe even in here, going to be digging a big pond some miscellaneous plastic bits no clue what it was and that one there's actually not even plastic that one there's like a a brick of some sort so but that one felt like plastic kind of weird but and i just changed the brightness but 
A lot of cleanup to do back here. A lot of stumps. But it's looking pretty good back here. So what else have I been doing here? Okay, well, that's the old garbage pile that ended up getting cancelled because, you know, dryness. <laughs> Got a, just a quick trail into where we hauled in uh, some gravel and blew out the tire on the quad. My quad uh, trailer. It's about a yard and a half gravel hauled in here. Towed it up. A pool's going in here for this year. Uh, other than that, cut across where I was going to make a trail but never did. There's this area here where the rackets, tennis racket's going to go. Tennis racket course. Uh, don't you dare. Let's see here. Doggy run. And uh, as of today, this is the three years, by the way, owning this property. Three years. So nothing really changed in the dog run. Huge garden. A lot of stuff going in back here. Uh, but... Yeah, it's pretty crazy. So, digging up some uh, sand from miscellaneous hills here to go on top of the, uh, under the pool. So, you dig down about a couple inches and it's pure beach sand. So, it might take some off. This is about a foot higher than the house right there. Started already at the back of the septic area, taking some sand. Uh, some gravel we hauled in, front dog pen. This is getting rebuilt, hopefully in the next few months. <laughs> This pole rotted out during the winter as hammered in a piece of metal temporary. But other than that, driveway is still super, super sandy. Got some more cedar shavings there. Got a high speed internet tower, very fast now compared to before. But it actually takes some time to walk across there. An old shagging wagon might get hauled out to the back, back of the yard, kind of where I just finished cutting it. All these bricks are going to be hauled probably back there later on. Uh, some trees in the front need to be cleaned up a bit. Uh, Three-point uh, blade I picked up. Don't even have a tractor for it, but kind of an impulse trade. Some scrap wood in back here and a bunch of other stuff. But the shed, still hanging in tarps here. Not much done with that. You can see a lot of summer, spring cleaning we have to do out here. Got the horde of piles of junk here. Got to also make a load to the dump. Not all of that's garbage. Some of it's being kept, of course, but it's getting to be a pretty good hoard here. Doom buggy, pillar, quad. Uh, goats are gone. They disappeared already. So never had time to do anything with this uh, Boland's tractor, the Sears tractor there. Technically is running driving, but needs a bit of work. So that Toro there is the one that I just shit kicked across everything. It's running awesome <laughs> so a bunch of tin to go onto the shed and other than that back to where we started here on the trail actually takes pretty a pretty decent amount of time to walk across but anyway as for the shed build i'm just gonna put some random stuff on it and then after that uh i'm just talking building paper and i'm still tempted to build another one going this way not too sure yet might build another one beside it need to say Depends if this guy wants to help or not. Never spend time in front of hole. My <laughs> Okay, well, I've been outside for too long. I'm going inside.